Hi, everybody. Um, sorry this is taking such a long time. It's been a crazy week. Um, so here we are. Let me just explain a few things. You should be working right here on 4.06. This opened up on Monday. So you have outlining your argument. You know, last week you were preparing your argument. So you chose a topic and you looked for some sources. You had a little um, chart to put everything in. And most of you that turn that in are doing okay. What I am noticing, however, is, um, and you probably don't realize this, when I grade all the papers, I grade them all at the same time. So I start at the top of the list of students and I just click and work my way through it. What I'm noticing is that a lot of the same sources for the same topic. The topic um, that a lot of people are going with is the college one where you're to pick a side either college is not really necessary for to you know to be successful or it is necessary to be successful so you could choose either side but what i'm noticing is um, several students are choosing their claim that college is not necessary for everyone to be successful but then their sources are opposing that view. So if I click on the sources that you put in there, the links that you put in, I'm reading articles that are supporting your opposing side. So, uh, you know, I don't know if that's because of a lack of just reading through the article and just going with the title or what, but if you, you know, you you're welcome to switch your position if you wanted to stick with those sources um, or go in and find some different sources, which, which is very possible. I mean, that's a big, that's always been a big debate, especially recently, and, and you can find plenty of sources on either side of that argument. The other issue I'm having is that Several people who are doing the college topic are giving me the same exact links, which just means that, you know, you're getting them off of the internet somewhere that somebody's already done. The problem with that is a couple of those links are not the best. Um, blogs, you're, you're being asked on your, on your form to explain why you think it's a credible source and a blog is not going to be always a credible source. So if you've got blog posts, those are definitely um, opinions that are coming from other people. So what you've got is your argumentative essay is your opinion. So what you want to back that up with is not other random people's opinions. What you want to back it up with is facts. If you have statistics and things like that would be where, where you want to go and what you want to look for. So um, you are welcome to switch things around and just kind of let me know, hey, um, I did this before, but I kind of want to add this source. And what you might notice when you start writing is that sometimes you don't have enough of a source and you need to go find something different or, or something to add, and that is perfectly acceptable as well. Um, I just needed to let you know that those, the one, I'll give you a specific one. It's um, from a website called University of the People. Here, I'll show you. Um, some of you are citing an article that's from this website. This is in fact a university and it's, it's free. It's not really accredited by the right accreditation um, groups. So, you know, you could go to this college and get a degree for free, but then not be taken seriously by um, an employer or whatever. But anyway, there is an article in here that starts out by saying that, oh, you may not necessarily need a college degree, but in the end, this is one of the articles that says, you know what, though, a college degree is advantageous for all of these reasons. So, uh, you know, this is one of those articles where I'm being given it as a source to back up not college, but then it's actually supporting yes, college. So, you know, it's just one of those things I needed to bring to your attention and, and let you know that I am going through these preparing your argument um, things. And if you are kind of lost and, and don't know what we're talking about, the preparing your argument, you have these six choices. 
Um, so this is where I'm talking about is college necessary for a successful future? So you can fall on any, on either side of any of these topics. So you could do, um, yes, plastic straws and bags should be banned in consumer markets, or you could say no. And then that, that's, it's your job then to find things that support what you are saying. If you choose a side and then notice that you're only finding opposing views, then I mean, why not write the paper from that view? Um, we're not, you know, you can write, you should be able to, a good writer should be able to fall on both sides of the argument and, and know both sides of the argument anyway. So, you know, um, if you have any questions or any other issues with this, let me know. Um, I Since I took so long to get this explanation out, it is already Thursday when I'm doing this. I will go ahead and extend the due date again, and you'll see it on, on the module, but I'll put it out at like, I don't know, it'll be next Wednesday. I'm not sure what day that is. I think it's actually the 31st. So we'll put this out and, and your um, outline will be due on the 31st. And what you're hearing now, of course, is the week of March 22nd, part B. But in part A, I did want to remind you that right here, there is, it says, if you want to look at the simplified version of an outline, you can click here. I have put that link in there. You can make a copy of it for yourself. And if that is an outline that's, it's simplified. So it's, if it's a little easier for you to get a handle on and do that rather than do the Roman numerals and, and letters and all that, that is fine with me. I just really want you to have something where you can get all of your thoughts together kind of down on paper. So you've got, okay, here's my claim. And then here's my, here's my first reason or my first, um, a set of evidence and this is the source I'm going to use for this and then kind of build your paper that way and plan your paper out that way. So again, if you have any questions or concerns or you're confused about something, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great rest of the week and weekend.